Good health is a fundamental right to every child. This year, Minister of Health is to start mass immunization on a date yet to be communicated across the country. Dr. Joyce Moriko Kaduchi, State Minister for Primary Health Care, says as the country continues to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, effective awareness of vaccination of children should be integrated to prevent any new outbreaks, as she explains. With the support from health development partners, most especially Gavi, the overall national health system has been strengthened and is one of the key strategic interventions that is behind the vaccination achievements. The Ministry of Health has emphasized decentralization of immunization services to districts and health sub-district level. Also, expansion of health, sub health infrastructures in sub-counties and parishes. We have also put a lot of emphasis on investment and expansion of immunization services at large. We have put a lot of emphasis on outreach immunization services we put a lot of emphasis on improvement in staffing level in low health facilities, engaging of local government, the leadership in healthcare service delivery, as well as increasing funding for immunization. The routine immunization has always been against the six traditional killer diseases. However, the vaccines have been increased to 13. Pneumonia, diarrhea, measles and rubella, BCG for tuberculosis, oral polio and injectable polio, HPV, tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis, also known as whooping cough, hepatitis B. Starting from January this year, the Ministry of Health was transitioning its reporting, uh, uh, reporting uh, software. It, it was upgrading the reporting software. In that way, not all the districts had, were brought on board at the same time, and also not all the districts had the required materials to do the reporting. Now, this is an internal process. The ministry is working on it so that all the districts report on the standard reporting forms. And what it also means is as we will have to catch up on this by ensuring that districts which have not reported, they report to the ministry and we have a complete picture of the impact of these outbreaks and also monitor the continuity of our services. that the lockdown as a response to COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted provision of healthcare service delivery in the districts due to the fact that some health workers have not complied with a set guideline that has been provided by the Ministry of Health on 
continuation and continuity of healthcare service delivery. With this level of performance, there is a high chance of children missing out these schedules of their vaccines. They have high chances of missing their doses according to their schedules and appointments. 